Hi fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, and welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see who's been thinking about you, who's been wanting to reconnect or reach out lately, who has you on their mind and is maybe wanting to um, reconcile things with you. There is going to be a part two to this reading as well, guys, and in part two, we're going to follow on from the messages. And part two is going to be made available via the extension link below. This is a general reading, so if you have a personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video as well. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead and begin and see who's got you on their mind lately who wants to reach out and reconnect. Okay, Five of Swords. So this is someone whom you may have had a um, a disagreement, an altercation. You might be in a disconnection with this person, okay? Um, maybe this is someone whom you have permanently separated with, or this is someone whom you're taking a break with, or this is someone whom you're experiencing a lot of tension and a lot of conflict with right now. Maybe you guys argue a lot. Maybe the last conversation that you did have was uh, somewhat uncomfortable. Maybe some things were said that hurt you or hurt them or perhaps even have hurt the relationship. The tumultuous clouds in the background does um, symbolize some sort of turbulency between you and this individual. So whoever has got you on their mind here, I feel like is at odds with their feelings or is at odds with um, your current situation. Okay, so... You know, obviously you guys are going through something and this person, even if you guys are separated or disconnected, this person still thinks about you. They're still thinking about reaching out to you. Um, I feel like they're a little bitter though. So if you haven't heard from this individual, I feel like they're a little bit bitter. Um, they're brooding. There's an imbalance in the dynamics of the relationship and I feel like this is someone who does want to balance things out between you and them. So maybe this person wants to set things right. Maybe this person feels like they owe you or you owe them an apology. They just feel like things shifted. They may also feel as though you or yourself may feel as though it was a little bit one-sided, like the scales weren't, e you know, weren't necessarily equally balanced. Um, maybe you found yourself... Or maybe this person found themselves, like, a lot of the times um, giving too much of themselves. Committing and overgiving and overcommitting and overextending and overapplying themselves purely to overcompensate for, you know, the other person's lack of efforts. Okay, so they do feel, they do feel foolish, okay? They feel foolish that they've allowed things to get to the point in which they did, they feel a little bit foolish about letting you go. They feel a little bit foolish about, especially something that they said. They've said this out of hurt, out of anger. Um, and the thing is, a lot of times when people react, um, you know, very angrily, um, it's typically because underneath it all they're hurting. So this person feels as though, you know, they could have processed their emotions a lot differently. They probably didn't need to say some of the things that they said because I feel like they, they kind of weaponized their words, right? They kind of said things to, you know, because they knew it was going to upset you. So they said things to retaliate. They said or did things here to purposely get under your skin. And they feel a little bit juvenile. They feel a little bit childlike. They feel foolish here for the way in which they've treated you or the way that they acted towards you here. It's also someone who clearly wants a new beginning with you, you know. This is someone who, as we mentioned, they want to balance things out. They want to set their record straight. They want to um, clear the plate with you, clear the slate, clear the slate. Um, you know, this is someone who I feel like is, I feel like this person is secretly spying on you. I feel like maybe this is someone whom you, you guys are still linked up or you're connected on social media. So, and this person, this is their way of trying to stay connected with you. So this person has been thinking about reaching out and they have been thinking about reconnecting with you and maybe even revisiting or restoring a connection with you. But um, there's some sort of hesitation in their energy, okay? This person is nervous. Uh, maybe they're nervous of your rejection. Maybe they're nervous because you've since moved on or maybe this person doesn't think that 
you're going to forgive them or they don't think that you want this um, as much as they do. So there is a bit of a nervous energy with this um, individual. They have been, like for instance, they may have uh, been... They may have tried to reach out to you in the past and maybe you've rejected this person. Um, they may also have, it just feels like there's, I see them like, yeah, they're, they're definitely checking out your social media. They're definitely spying on you. Um, even if you guys aren't necessarily connected, they may have made up a, like a fake account or they might be spying on you under a friend's account. I think you're, I feel like you're intuitively you are aware that this is happening um i'm also seeing they could potentially be writing or deleting messages to you okay so this person has or maybe they've already had reached out to you in the past and you didn't respond and this person then it's like i see this as someone who you, you there's a lot of reaction in this person's energy so if you haven't responded this person is getting even more frustrated and more upset and more bitter and is feeling more hurt and jaded over this. So yeah, so I see that this they've been trying to compose a message for you for quite some time. Okay, they're writing and they're deleting their messages. They're looking back at photos. Um, I do feel like this individual wants to revisit things with you. The hangs, hangman's energy... Um, I feel like there's someone here who, like they're purposely stalling things, um, or they just feel like you guys need a little bit more time, okay, especially with the Nine of Pentacles. Um, I do get a strong sense in the cards that this person has been working on themselves. I do feel like this person has been trying to improve themselves, or they've, like the focus has really been on themselves, and especially career, or getting in shape. I just see that, yeah, they've turned the focus inwards. I'm also seeing that, yeah, um, Hangman's energy, there's been a bit of a delay. Whether there's been a bit of a delay in communication or a bit of a delay, delay of a reconnection, there has been a bit of a stag... And for quite some time, maybe, in your relationship, there's been some sort of stagnation where things weren't moving forward. Okay? At that time, this person wasn't ready to move things forward with you. And in a way, you guys needed to kind of come apart. So it could illustrate to this person that, yes, even though they thought back then they weren't ready to move things forward with you, they're now seeing that this is someone who does want something with you, okay? And they want something long-term and they want to push forward. But back then, they weren't ready or they didn't see it. So you, you it's like an energy of you had to kind of come apart with this individual to come back together again. Um, this person is a little bit intimidated by your energy, which is what's preventing them from reaching out so they want to reach out they want to communicate but they're nervous it's almost like the ball is in your court maybe because they did you wrong and you know this is someone who does feel like because they did you wrong you know it's up to you whether you forgive them or it's up to you whether you want to move on with this or not you've got six and seven of swords here as well i see some sort of love offer coming in from this person i see some either this person is going to open up their heart to you or they're going to pleasantly surprise you with a return or some sort of future contact communication coming in with this individual i do see that yeah they're trying to move forward okay there's this turbulent energy in the reading so you've guys obviously had you know you've had your challenges you've had your obstacles you've had your difficulties with each other okay in your past it's been a turbulent one it's been a tumultuous one but they want to move forward with that okay there's a lot of swords you guys have clearly hurt each other or this person is clearly hurting due to the separation but it does seem that you know the, they want to leave the past behind they want to move forward from what was said and done it's not like they want to bury it and forget about it they do want to work through things okay um seven of swords i feel like this person at first, especially when they moved away, when they pulled away, when you guys disconnected or separated, like they were saying to themselves that they're fine without you and they were trying to convince themselves, okay? So there's a lot of inner deceit with the Seven of Swords here. They were trying to convince themselves that their feelings for you was, were not as strong as they actually were. So they were trying to downplay the situation and that was simply to... Um, you know, make make things a little bit like to sort of cushion the fall, if you will. So seven of pen, um, seven of swords energy. You know, this person is still hurting. This person is, they're hurting that they hurt you. Um, they're trying to heal themselves. They also want to heal the situation. And look, they weren't always 
honest with you. They weren't honest with you about their feelings. They weren't honest with you about their intentions. And they weren't honest with you in general, not always. Uh, and I feel like this person wants to come back now and, you know, they want to lay their cards on the table. They want to do things right with you. Currently, no contact, no communication, but there is some sort of blocked energy. So I don't know if you've blocked this person or this person has blocked you, um, but there's some sort of blockages that did prevent this connection from moving forward, right? I feel like this person wants to work through those obstacles or work through some of those um, blockages. It's so important that, you know, I feel like what's really important here is that you guys don't go back to repeating the same cycles or repeating the same mistakes or the same you know going back to because especially if you have had a lot of arguments or you've had a lot of disagreements or there was obviously certain issues that were getting in the way because you've got a lot of swords here and there's a multitude of them there's a repetition of them so it's like it either was a culmination like it was a build-up of things and there was a culmination here or you know there were several issues that kind of got in the way of this relationship so this person I, I do see that this is someone who's, who you're going to cross paths with and I do see that this is someone who has been thinking about you a lot um, and it hurts them either you've moved on from what I see or you're trying to move on without them or you know you've rejected um, you know this you might have turned this person down um, in the past to you know to reconnect for reconnection or reconciliation or there's just something here that this person feels like, you know, there's a lot of hurt still in their energies. And I feel like this person, there's, there's the past. I'm seeing that the past is weighing heavy on this. And I'm seeing that this person also wants to clear the air with you. And they want to, they want to make things work. They want to, um, see, they have, they've acted childlike in the past. They didn't take you seriously and they took you for granted. And they didn't necessarily always knew what they were doing or they, they weren't always aware of how they were coming across and how it was impacting you and um, it seems like in the time apart this person has done a lot of introspection and you know now they want to come back a little bit wiser a little bit more mature um, a lot more intentional in their energies a lot more directed so this is someone who wants to cross paths with you and I do feel like you know right now the, the I do see your paths crossing I do I don't feel like even this is not the end it is not the end um not just yet anyway so I'm gonna leave the reading at um, here for now in part two we're going to see when exactly might they reach out to you or you know why is it that this connection um, broke apart in the first place why did they pull away or why didn't it work out so follow me to part two via the extension link below um, thank you guys so much for your time your energy and your attention bye for now